So this is a tour of Lickpenny, Caravan Park, Tansley, Matlock, Dorvisham, one of our favourites. So this site has recently been sold and it now belongs to the Caravan and Motorhome Club. It's been a site that we've visited on many, many occasions and it's one of our favourites purely because of the pitch sizes. I really hope that they don't overdevelop it and make it less spacious. So let's have a look, shall we? It's bank holiday weekend. August. We need to go this way, babe. We've got a nice reception. so we're not going in there. Well, there's our van. So you've got a veg prep room with pot wash. Telephone. Plenty of sinks. There's a laundry in a child's bathroom that's got some washers and dryers in there. The showers, toilets, very clean. Maybe need a little bit of modernisation. Vanity units. And a hairdryer. a few seasonal pictures but on the gate there is planning applications to do something with pictures 17 to 21 so maybe they're thinking of getting rid of the seasonal people I don't know time will tell Seasonal pictures there. Jimbo's van's been here a very long time, as long as we've been coming. So you've got lots of Elson points around this site, which is one of the reasons why we love it, because you're never far away from water or the bins. And there's a fantastic kids play area and this is the little bit that worries me that they may decide to put more pictures so these are great if you've got kids because you can see that they can play safely as you can also see there's quite a lot of green and it would be a shame to lose that So you've got two facilities blocks on this side. One as you come in near the reception and the second one is here. Just up there with the exact same facilities that the other one has. So as you come up here, this is your second facilities block. pictures here are massive and we normally stay on a service pitch but we booked a little bit lastminute.com so we're on a regular one this time so your B pictures 1 to 12 
have all got a tap, grey waste and 16 amp electricity. Another Alton point. And then you've got those views. Incredible. So number 70 is a really good pitch, it's a normal pitch, but the views, I'll show you. They are the best views. Then we come back round. And I think the... Um, the warden we were talking to yesterday said that they were going to do a lot of maintenance on the trees, didn't they? Because the trees are quite tall. And I think if, this, if they're going to start cutting some of them down a little bit, the views are going to be incredible from a lot of pictures, aren't they, Darren? It might be amazing now, but if they do, yeah. if they cut back, then yeah, you're going to get, you're going to get a lot better. Panoramic of Derbyshire everywhere, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Big district, everything Absolutely. beautiful. Just a banging site. It is, it's gorgeous. It's full, but it's not it's not crowded. Yeah, it's not there's not people everywhere and kids running around causing problems. It's actually really quiet to say it's a bank holiday weekend and most pictures are full. So these are your service pictures. I'll show you one because there's no, no, nobody on this one, so I'll quickly. We've stayed on this one before, didn't we? So this is B11. You see there where the hedges are, if they trim them down a little bit, your views would be incredible. So you get, obviously you get your hook up, just over there, you get a tap and your grey waist, so that's really, really good. Again, all the pictures are lovely. There's not many bad, I don't think there's any bad pictures to be fair, we've stayed here loads, so. It's literally 20 minutes from where we live. Ideal just for a couple of nights. But it's a brilliant base to explore Derbyshire. We've got Bakel, Buxton, Matlock, Matlock Bath, Little Switzerland. <laughs> it's awesome. There's a few more pictures down there. I'll just zoom out a little bit. That's better. And then there's um there's a dog walk, which is really nice. There's loads of um, loads of nature, buzzards, kestrels, rabbits, squirrels, dog heaven, isn't it? An absolutely lovely sight. So we're going to go up to the dog walk now. There's also a little dog walk across the road, but it is quite a busy road to cross and there is no pavement, is there? Look at that little tiny thing. So this is the dog walk. Look around it, Darren. And there's lots and lots of nature. Isn't there? Up there. We've seen loads of things, haven't we? This is just like a little circular walk. Not very big, but it's big enough, isn't it? There's nesting boxes and all sorts, owls, it's lovely.
benches to sit on if it's nice. Then we're approaching the A-side service pitchers. And in our opinion, the one in front of you is our favourite, isn't it? 8A, right next to the dog walk. And the biggest pitch I think I've ever seen. Obviously there's somebody there, so I won't film too much. But you can get an idea. That's a big car and a van. And that's his pitch as well. So, wow. But any of the A-side pitches are lovely. It's like a horseshoe shape. As you get further up, the better the views. So that's the end of the dog walk area. Coming back onto the same path that we started from. And that's another view of A side from the dog walk. Hello. Hiya. One A is another favourite pitch. That's the one right in the corner there. We like that one, and we also like that one just there. That's a nice one, nice and flat. That one. So there we go. As you can see, more open space. So again, hopefully they're not going to cram loads more pitches on. Because as we said earlier, this is actually bank holiday, August bank holiday weekend. And as you can see, it's full, almost. But it's still very, very peaceful. These hedges are the ones that they're on about trimming down. So I think that would be more beneficial for people that are on this side. And we go through this little archway back down to the reception and the toilet and shower block and there's our van hope you've enjoyed and we'll keep you posted if the caravan club make too many changes <laughs>